Hello everyone, welcome back to the Canadian Young Physicist Tournament's channel. This time, I am bringing you a short video about RIPT 2020, problem number 14, Falling Tower. The problem wants us to stack identical disks to make a freestanding tower. You can remove the bottom disk by applying a sudden horizontal force. We want to investigate the condition that keeps the tower standing after dropping down. For this experiment, I got some round game pieces, some small wood cubes, and a set of wood dominoes. To experiment with the different surface finishes, I got four types of tape. I have masking tape, vinyl electrical tape, duct tape, and this other type of tape that I'm not sure what the name of. First up, I tried the three types of blocks and discs in the simplest configuration, a completely vertical stack. I used a popsicle stick to apply the sudden horizontal force. As you can see, the domino and the game pieces are able to remain stable, but the cube blocks can't remain stable. If we look at the slow motion of the cubes falling, we can see that the cube tower seems to shatter on impact. With a slightly lower force, the tower tips over on the impact with the surface. To reduce the impulse from the surface, a natural way is to reduce the distance of the fall. To achieve this, I place a piece of domino under the cube tower. This time, with a smaller fall distance, the cubes are able to land firmly. To create a similar situation, I taped several dominoes together to create a square-based prism shape. I did this to test the effect of block width and fall distance on the stability of the tower. A notable finding is that when I apply the sudden force along the long axes, the tower can remain stable. But then I apply the force along the short axes and the tower is unstable. Again, separating the dominoes, I attempted to vary the block surface by using different types of tape. This effect of it is not very noticeable. For the tape with greater friction, the tower behaves largely like applying a smaller impulse. The last thing that I want to draw your attention to is the effect of the surface that we place the blocks or the disks on. When the block or the disc is removed, it can't be done instantaneously. As the bottom disc travels across, the tower will tip over and fall onto the surface at an angle. The property of the surface then determines how much torque is applied to the rest of the tower. To reduce this torque, I placed a piece of clay under the cube tower. This time, when I remove the bottom cube, the tower remains standing. This shows that changing the surface can have a remarkable impact on the stability after the fall. I hope you like this short video on the falling tower and like the preliminary observations that I made. This problem is really quite simple to try out. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you're in Canada and have any questions about CAYPT 2020, feel free to contact any of our committee members. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.